Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And in today's video, we will talk about how to solve simple logarithmic equations. And this time, ang focus natin is to use the different laws of logarithms para solve yung mga logarithmic equations na meron tayo. Last time kasi meron tayong video wherein we solve logarithmic equations using um, transforming it into its exponential form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here three different examples. We have 1, 2, and 3. Where in kung mapansin nyo, mukha siya mahihirap, pero if you know how to use the law of logarithm, pwede pwede siya. So let's start with item number 1. We are given 2 logarithm of x to the power of 4 is equal to the logarithm of 9 to the power of 4. So as you can see guys, um, medyo malilito kayo dito. Pero I will explain it step by step para mas lalo niyo makuha kung paano siya gawin. So when you encounter a number or an expression before the word, before the logarithm, you will use uh, power of logarithm. Okay? Power of logarithm. Wherein, you will simplify this. Ito muna. Wherein, we need to remove this. At gabi na siya, i natin yung power of logarithm. Or logarithm of power. So what you will do, is you will simply have logarithm of x. And this one, this coefficient, ay magiging exponent ng argument natin. Which is we have logarithm of x squared to the base of 4. Okay? Logarithm of x squared to the base of 4. So, sa napunta yung 2, naging exponent siya nitong x na to. Okay? Mag mapupunta siya dito. That is the logarithm of power. And then, that is equal to logarithm of 9 to the base of 4. And right now, guys, as you can see, um, parehas na base natin sa logarithm. And meron tayong property where in it, they're equal, you can equate the arguments here. We have your x squared x squared is equal to 9. So what you will do here is you will extract the roots by getting the square root of this one to find the value of x and getting the square root of this one. And your x here is equal to the positive negative 3. Ito yung mga possible sagot natin. Or in other words, your x is equal to 3 or negative 3. Ito yung mga possible answers natin guys. Okay? I hope na hindi ka nalilito rito guys ha. We applied um, logarithm of power. Yun yung property na niya-apply natin dito. Or yung law. Next, we have item number 2. For item number 2, we are given the logarithm of x squared plus 4x to the base of 2 is equal to logarithm of 5 with the base of 2. Now, so paano po yan? Guys, madali na to. As you can see, parehas yung base natin. Same with this line of example number 1. Where in if they're equal, you can equate the arguments or this part and this part. Equal yung base natin guys, so, logarithm to the base of 2. So we can have x squared plus 4x is equal to 5. And as you can see guys, kung ma-observe mo, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng quadratic equation. Where in, we can solve this, syempre, by factory. Pero yung manipulate pa na natin, gawin na natin siyang standard form. So, we will transpose this to the other side. And remember guys, if you're transposing a term from one side to the other side, you will change the sign of it. If this is positive, it will become negative. So, we have now x squared plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. And that is a quadratic equation in standard form. And you will check, sir, is it factorable? Yes. What are the factors of negative 5 that can give you the sum of positive 4? Remember, this is negative. This is negative. Ibig sabihin, yung factors na negative 5 are, uh, may, may magkaibang sign sila. One is negative and the other is positive. Because negative times positive is equal to negative. So this is negative 5. So what you will do, ang factors ito ay x plus 5 times x 
minus 1 is equal to 0. So, bakit po plus 5 sa minus 1? Guys, when you add positive 5 and negative 5, it will give you positive 4. So, what you will do is to solve, equate each, each factor by 0. You have x plus 5 is equal to 0. And the other is x minus 1 is equal to 0. Para mas mabilis tayo, we will simply transpose this number to the other side and this one to the other side. And it will give you x is equal to negative 5 kasi from positive it will become negative and the other from negative it will give you a positive answer. This is x is equal to 1. So sagot natin ay x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 1. Ayan yung pinakasagot natin for this item. By the way, you can check if meron tayong extraneous loops. Papalitan nyo lang naman tong x natin dito by 5 and may negative 5 and 1. If they are equal, ibig sabihin, uh, they are part of the solution of this logarithmic equation. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, sir, ang haba. Okay? Ang haba po, sir. Sir, paano po yun, sir? Okay, you can pause the video. So for item number 3, guys, what will happen is that this one. Um, you have the logarithm of x plus 3 to the base of 2 plus, remember this is plus, uh, plus the logarithm of x minus 3 to the base of 2 is equal to 4. So meron tayo itong dalawang logarithm na inad natin, pero meron tayong logarithm of product or product of logarithm. If nakita mo yung dalawang logarithm or add them, so what you will do is pag-iisayin mo lang sila. Since pares naman yung base nila guys eh. Diba? You have the logarithm of 2 uh, logarithm of with the base of 2 tapos your arguments na lang x plus 3 sa x minus 3 ay gagawin mo silang product. It will become x plus 3 times x minus 3. Ayan na mismo guys. Again, so yung condition bakit na ginawa to? Una addition to. Before natin i-apply yung law tapos dapat logarithm tapos pares yung base and then what you will do, single logarithm to the base of 2, and then multiply or express them into products. Okay? Is equal to 4. So what's next, sir? What's next here is to write this into exponential form. In exponential form, it will become 2 raised to 4 is equal to x plus 3 times x minus 3. Then simplify this. This will give you 2 raised to 4 is 16. Then you have this be equal to x squared minus 9. If you will if you will multiply them using FOIL method, it will give you x squared minus 9. This is I know, um, summing difference of two squares. Okay? So what you will do is to manipulate the equation, transpose this one to the other side. Okay, guys? And it will give you this one. We have 16. From negative, it will become plus 9. is equal to x squared. And we know 16 plus 9 is 25. Then we have x squared here. So, same process as you can see. So, yung dito kanina. Dito. Extract the roots. Extract the square roots. You have here the square root of x squared, which is x. And this one, the square root of 25 is positive, negative, 5. Kung nalilito ka, pwede na siya i-flip. Parehas na naman yan, we have x is equal to positive, negative, 5. Or, in other words, ba nalilito kayo, your x is equal to 5 or negative 5. Ito yung mga possible value of x natin. Yun na guys, di ba? So, mukha siya may hirap. As long as alam niyo yung basics tapos yung loss of logarithm and the properties of logarithm, you can deal with any kind of problem when it comes to solving simple logarithmic equations. So again guys, if you have any question or suggested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!